I'm making the same polymer, same polymer chain, but it's just that I've taken slightly different sections of the polymer chain. So like this. So now um, what will happen is that uh, these two polymer chains they'll be parallel to each other, and there'll be hydrogen bonds over here. There will be hydrogen bonds over here because you know that oxygen is highly electronegative and since this hydrogen is attached to a nitrogen, the hydrogen is highly polarized. It has a high partial positive charge because nitrogen is very electronegative. So there will be hydrogen bonds here and actually um, we can just, uh, just, we can make this on top as well. It doesn't really matter. We can make this on top as well. So not on top, uh, let it stay where it is. Let me make a mo another chain. So let me make another chain. So let's have again NH. CH2, CH2, NH, CO, NZ. this so then we have hydrogen bonds over here and we have hydrogen bonds over here so you can see that all these polymer chains are attracted to each other by these hydrogen bonds and you know that hydrogen bonds are the strongest type of intermolecular force so because of these this hydrogen bonding uh, synthetic polyamides have some really amazing properties like nylon and kevlar they're very strong materials in fact kevlar is used in used in bulletproof vests and bulletproof helmets and, uh, and and nylon is used as a thread it's a very strong thread kevlar is also used in like uh, wire mesh and everything because it's very strong and they are nylon and kevlar are so strong because of these hydrogen bonds between the poly between the polymer chains so the intermolecular forces between the polymer chains give some very peculiar properties to uh, uh, synthetic polyamides, uh, especially nylon and Kevlar. So you can now know why nylon and Kevlar are so strong because of uh, a very large network of hydrogen bonds and there are millions of polypeptide chains parallel to each other like this. And the polypeptide chains themselves are very are very big. So even the, even the Van der Waals forces are strong. So the there are hydrogen bonds, there are strong, uh, stronger Van der Waals forces compared to other molecules so they are ought to be very strong. Now um, let's do proteins. So uh, now that we have done synthetic polyamides, we are going to do proteins which are natural polyamides. So uh, amino acids have the NH2 group. If you've watched my playlist on organic nitrogen compounds, then you know that an amino acid has an NH2 group. It has an R group, a, 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 a CH group in the middle and an R attached to it and then it has a, a carboxylic acid group. So this is called an amino acid and uh, as you can see on one side an amino acid has an amine group, on the other side it has a carboxylic acid group. So amino acids can polymerize because, um, because these, can, these can form bonds with each other so they can polymerize. So, the, the water molecule will be eliminated and uh, it will be a pol amide, an amide will be formed because obviously CONH amide bond and when several amino acids different or the same link together they form um, uh, proteins. So proteins are very important. Uh, they are formed when amino acids polymerize like I've shown to you and they are also called polypeptides protein uh, because the amide bond is, can also be called the peptide bond. So proteins are also called polypeptides. So uh, the, it's just nothing, it's the same thing. So if you don't get confused, confused between polyamides and polypeptides. So uh, proteins have three different structures. Now uh, like three different structures that we study. One is called the primary structure. And uh, the primary structure is basically the sequence of amino acid residues in the polypeptide chain. So what I mean by this is, uh, for example, we have um, we have several amino acids. You'll, ha you, you'll know what these symbols are when you look at your data booklet. The data booklet has uh, many different amino acids in it. Uh, 
So you have glycine and then uh, the cysteine, leucine, valine.